everyone, Rachel Freeman Sowers here, and I am so excited about our topic today. Now, I know I say that every single time I make a video and with every single topic, but I just want to let you know that it is true. I get excited about sharing this information with you. If you are a female entrepreneur that is struggling to build your confidence or maintain your confidence in your business, then today's video is for you. Today I'm sharing with you five secrets to building and or maintaining your confidence that you may not be aware of. Now, some of these secrets you may have been aware of and just recently forgotten due to overwhelm or frustration, but don't worry because we're going to get you and your confidence back on track. So I've done something a little bit different. I've created a worksheet just for you to dive a little bit deeper into these five secrets so that you can continue to build and consistently maintain your confidence in your business. So click on that link below in the description box so that you can have that deeper dive experience. I've helped female entrepreneurs all over the globe shift their mindset, gain skills, and take action so that their brands can be seen and heard in a way that fits their personality and their strengths. Just check out how Lindsay connected with one of her clients. Success. Today, I met with a woman about shooting and designing her album art. I set the day and I took my time. I prepared and while we drank coffee and collaborated, I couldn't help but feel overwhelming gratitude that I was creating revenue my own way and doing something I absolutely love. For me, this is the turning point and I knew just who I wanted to share it with. Okay, secret number one. Stay in alignment. So many women ask me, what does alignment feel like? So if you've ever been in a state of flow or in a situation where everything just fell into place and there was little resistance, that is a state of alignment. When my desires and the way I want to be in the world is cohesive with my business, I feel more ease. I feel more confident. When we get out of alignment, sometimes it can feel like frustration and guilt and resistance and things just being way too hard. So when we stay in alignment, we help build and maintain our confidence. And it's easier to know when we have to quickly course correct back and feel more confident in our businesses and our lives. Secret number two is honoring both your strengths and your weaknesses. Sometimes people call it honoring your light and your dark side, because when we're out of balance in either one of those, when we're like, oh, everything is so positive and nothing wrong is happening. And it's kind of feels a little bit fake. And then when we go to the other end and nothing is right and I can't do video and I have to shoot a hundred times, which sometimes I feel like I have to shoot over a hundred times, you know, what is wrong with me? Then we go down a different rabbit hole. So what we want to do is honoring both that we have these strengths and we honor the weaknesses and pick the ones that we want to then turn into strengths. But when we honor all of ourselves, we take a different approach to business and life in general. So number two is honoring both your strengths and your weaknesses. I'm wondering if you have been on this confidence versus self doubt roller coaster. Let me know in the comments if you have. The other thing I would love to know is what is the one thing that continues to deflate your confidence in your business? I want to hear and I want to respond to your comments. So let me know that too below. So secret number three is turning your ifs into your house. So how does this help my confidence? You ask, I'm glad you asked. Okay. So when we turn our ifs into house, we start thinking about the possibilities. So what if I can't do a full length video? What if no one is responding to me or is on the other side of my Facebook live? What if no one likes my video and pushes the like button? Okay. So those are some of the ifs. What if you changed it into how, so how can I create a Facebook live that is fun for me, that allows me to express myself both emotionally and with logic? How do I create a Facebook video that is more engaging for me independent if anyone shows up? 
So it's not so much that you're thinking all about yourself all the time, but what it is, is that you are doing it so that if anyone shows up on a Facebook live or not, because I've had no one show up and I sit there and talk to myself for like 15 minutes, it's happened more than one time. I guarantee it. Um, then it's not so much about how people show up, but if they do, I'm able to communicate with them because I have confidence in how I'm doing it because I've already have a predetermined way of doing it. So change your ifs into hows. Number four is change your buts into and. This will help you shift your perspective. So for example, it's like, I could do a video, but I'm probably not gonna be any good at it. Or I can do a video and it might turn out all okay. Or I can do a video, but no one's gonna show up. I can do a video and someone may show up. See the difference? Change your buts into ands. So I've saved the best for last as always. Secret number five is releasing guilt. So you may not think that you have guilt that is holding you back, but I want you to dive a little bit deeper into really exploring whether guilt plays a factor in you playing small, dimming your light, um, not wanting to offend anybody, wanting to be all inclusive because you don't want to hurt people's feelings or make them feel bad because you're really great at something and they're not. To be completely honest, none of that is your business. Your only business is to show up and make the massive positive impact with your gifts and strengths as much as you can. And when we have guilt, we hold ourselves back and it causes us to kind of shrink in our confidence and not shine as brightly as we can to serve as many people as possible. So number five is releasing that guilt. Don't forget, if you want to dive deeper into these five secrets, click on that link in the description box below, get the assessment and that one page PDF that's going to help you know exactly how to begin building and maintaining your confidence in your business. If you liked today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the share button because you never know who you're going to inspire by just being yourself and sharing something that has been significant to you. As I always say, until next time, make sure to stay true to yourself, be kind to others, and always, always, always honor the wise one that is within you. I will see you all later. Bye.